one of your high school teammates, and, and I think briefly probably. Yes. Um, what, what's your relationship like with them, and, and is it tough to kind of put, put the friendships aside right Yeah, now? I mean, it make it easier just to go out there and, you know, play even harder and play even tougher, you know, to, you know, because I know, I know what they're going to bring to the table, and they know what I'm going to bring to the table, so... Uh, just going out there and having fun and competing at the same time. Bragging rights on the, on the line? Well, I take pride in all that, you know, winning against all uh, teammates. Because we'll, we'll see each other again eventually. So, you know, whenever we get together, I, I mention us winning, you know, getting that way. How, how do you feel like you and Javante kind of match up? Uh-huh, uh, we're kind of similar, you know, same size, you know, kind of crafty guards. Uh, you know, can do everything. So um, I'm looking forward to going up against Javante. You know, he's been somebody that has been neck and neck with uh, us in my, throughout my high school career. So. What have you heard from the folks back in Delaware? Um, you know, everybody's proud. You know, it's not too much to be proud about in Delaware. So, um, you know. Can you just, say that again? Uh, I mean, it's Delaware's a small town. You know, not too many people, you know, really know what Delaware is or, you know, what's in Delaware. So, like, everybody thinks it's like farmland, you know. But we actually got some cities and some nice cities and stuff. So, um, you know, just happy to represent. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Turps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com. The number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Right, how long did you play in Delaware before you went to IMG? Um, up until my sophomore year. I uh, went to Putnam Science Academy my junior and senior year, and then I did a postgraduate year at IMG. So. Oh. Right. Uh, what, I asked you in the press conference the other day, what do you make of your dual role of being a scorer and a distributor? But can you talk about being the guy out there that Mark says slow down or speed up and, and how you got a feel for the game? I think our relationship has grown throughout the year. Um, Actually, me and Coach Sturridge have a lot of conversations, you know, just off the court, you know, what we think about the game. And as as I try to relate his message, instead of you know, terrible. be the coach on the floor, you know. I think it's a cop. I know he can't be out there. He can't shoot the shots. He can't make the plays. He can't call the plays, you know. But I try to relate his message and, you know, be an extension of him on the court. Right. How much is that uh, growing? For a little bit. For a lot. You know, uh, each game is getting stronger and stronger. And, uh, our relationship has grown, you know, tremendously throughout the game. I got a couple of And when I saw you back in September or October, I said, you have to have some pretty good game to get away with that beard. Yeah. You made it. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's pretty bang, cool. It's not a little trademark. You know, everybody called me an old soul on the team. So, uh, yeah. I, I guess I'm running with it right now. Or this one and another one. Thanks. Or this Go one get it. Thank you.